This clinical encounter is brought to you by Clinic, which is our new web application where multiple choice medical encounters present to your digital waiting room every week. Learn more or sign up at medschool.com slash clinic. A 60-year-old man has been experiencing fatigue and easy bruising for the past few weeks. He reports that months prior to these symptoms, he has felt increasingly tired and easily fatigued with activities he had previously done without difficulty. A peripheral blood smear is obtained as a part of the diagnostic workup, which is seen here. What is this patient's likely diagnosis? Chronic myelogenous leukemia, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, acute lymphocytic leukemia, or acute myelogenous leukemia. The correct answer is acute myelogenous leukemia, or AML. The structures seen on this patient's blood smear are hour rods, a classic histologic finding of AML, along with the accumulation of myeloblasts on the peripheral smear. Myeloblasts are usually characterized by positive cytoplasmic staining for myeloperoxidase, and similarly, these hour rods are just crystallized aggregates of myeloperoxidase. AML classically presents in older adults, 50 to 60 years of age, with common presenting symptoms being fatigue, shortness of breath, weakness, excess bleeding or bruising, and recurrent infections. In chronic myelogenous leukemia, you will typically have a predominance of neutrophils and basophils on histologic examination, not mild blasts or hour rods. In chronic lymphocytic leukemia, you will see increased lymphocytes and smudge cells on the blood smear, but not hour rods. And in acute lymphocytic leukemia, you will see a predominance of lymphoblasts on peripheral smear, not myeloblast or hour rods. Additionally, as opposed to adults, acute lymphocytic leukemia commonly affects children. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic, which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members, exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one, for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for a free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection, so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like, forever.